Hey guys, it's Jack Honkington here, and today's a little bit of a rant with just me fiddling. Because I'm working on a new song, it just starts off with. So, it's just, I started working on it today. Anyway, so, my rant is, this morning, I was going to do a Craigslist deal. You guys know me, I love going to Craigslist, um, meeting people, and I like getting new gear, partially because I can do reviews of it on this channel for you guys, and it gives me more content, and partially it's because I love new gear. And so I was going to take the black top strap since I have my, uh, I'm not going to reach for it, uh, my Sunburst American one. I was like, well, I don't really need this now and that I've got this. So, you know, I was going to trade it and this guy offered me two Les Pauls. One Epiphone Les Paul standard with a hard shell case in Sunburst and an Epiphone Les Paul 100 painted with EMG pickups and all black hardware, which I was going to take and put on this and I was like all excited about it we had a time and and uh, a town planned that was about an hour away for both of us so I got out this morning and I drove out there and the guy changed his mind changed his mind he had started like second guessing stuff started saying stuff about the guitar that I didn't like and then he's like, well, if you want it, you'll have to come another half an hour. And I was like, you already wasted my time. You wasted my gas. And you could have told me this last night when we were talking about the guitar. And I'm already at the meeting spot. And I had tried getting a hold of him to make sure you know, everything was still okay. And I was not happy. And my whole thing is, if you're going to make a deal, at least show up. You don't have to take the deal, but at least show up to, like, unless it's an emergency, like, unless your car isn't starting, unless you have to go into work or you have to go to the hospital or something, like, like that stuff, that's, you know, that's obvious. But if it's something stupid like, well, I don't, I, you know, you have to drive closer. It's like, well, I already drove where we said we were. And then you're questioning the authenticity of this guitar when I've proven over and over again that it's real and I can go through each part of it step by step with you to make sure that you are comfortable with it and it had upset me to the point where I was just like I'm done I'm not driving an extra half an hour for two guitars and I just told him thank you for your time but I'm good and I went home and Hours later, right before I was going to work today, I got a text from him saying, well, I still want the guitar, will you take, but I want to keep one of the Les Pauls, will you take the cheaper Les Paul and this nice Marshall amp? And I was like, no, leave me alone. And to me, the fact that he had the nerve to get a hold of me after he had already wasted enough of my time and my money kind of like struck like another nerve I mean I was cool with it you know deals go on and on and on so I'm gonna miss some but I was I was I was like whatever <laughs> So, but fortunately, Temmy wants to say hi, apparently. This is my cat, Temmy. He is my little boy. He, yeah, you see saying hi to all the peoples. I love him very much. He's my little kitten. Well, he's, he's getting older now. He's about five months. You want to go? Okay, you can go now.
<laughs> he just wanted to say hi, I guess, because he got right up to the table. Anyway, uh, in the next few days, hopefully, I will be meeting up with a, another person who is interested in lead harp. And has a really nice Charvel loud Les Paul like guitar with my favorite kind of, well, not my favorite kind, but uh, my favorite company, Seymour Duncan Pickups. Uh, it's got Seymour Duncan Black Hats on it, it's white, it's a Les Paul shape. I'm super excited. So I'm hoping if that goes well, I will have a review out about that this next coming week. And if I can figure out what to do with this song. Hard part is I don't want it to sound too poppy, maybe like... Or... I like that, I'm going to keep that. So look forward to hopefully a new review and maybe a new song come out. And, you know, just a question. I thought about doing a vocal cover of a Mark Tremonti song or a song by Shinedown. The song by Shinedown would be the acoustic cover of, well, it would be my acoustic cover because I'd probably play acoustic too, of... Sound of Madness. So either Sound of Madness acoustically or can't think of it right now. Sound of Madness acoustically or uh, Waste Your Time by Mark Tremonti. Let me know what you guys think. It's Jack Punkton. Peace guys.